Why hello there everyone, it's Connor and this is Steam Hidden Gems. Not the promotional thing that Steam is doing right now for the holidays, but more of a series that does just as the title would describe. Some games that are not all that well known, but are nonetheless awesome, incredibly fun, and you just have to try them out. So this is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Full Burst 3. So it's obviously the third in the series, and it follows the adventures of Naruto, Uzumaki, and his friends throughout the ninja world. So if you're not a fan of the anime or have never checked it out, I advise you to go and do it. You can skip the fillers. If you don't know what they are, they're pretty much just little series and episodes that are boring. Nothing really to do with the main storyline. And you'll have a hell of a good time, but beware, Naruto Shippuden does have a hell of a lot of them. Um, what do they call the game fellas? So be careful of that. So what this is, is a fighting game. An intense, fast paced fighting game. Now it does not have the combos that you would expect to see in a fighting game. They are pretty simple, I mean they are there, they're obviously going to be there, but they're pretty much the same for every character. And there are a hell of a lot of characters to choose from, so let's just go to a free game here and I'll jump into a versus battle to begin with and just let you see how the combat works and how everything goes together so first the computer because I don't have <laughs> any friends <laughs> so what this is is the team match and the single match the team match it's not like a tag sort of match where you tag your friend in and they can take over it's more of like you have an NPC with you an AI that will jump in with a one time attack that is on a cooldown so after 30 seconds you can use their attack again everyone has different abilities in this game it's pretty damn cool and they are all from the anime so let's just do a team match so I can show you exactly what that is Um, see so many characters and unless you're into Naruto and you won't have any idea who these guys are so hmm. I'm gonna pick Toby Let's see, what outfits does Mr. Toby? Oh, that's Fedora. Not Toby's outfit, so... Uh, let's just get Mifune. Sure, you can set their rules, so if they're set to a guard rule, sometimes they'll jump in to protect you and allow you to not take so much damage. Uh, let's pick Hanzo here. Attack types, they will jump in and assist you with combo attacks. Right, just let's random it up for our enemy here. Right, okay, awesome. There are also quite a lot of stages. Now, one thing I don't like about this game, or not so much don't like, but would like to see implemented in a future game, is the ability to knock your enemies out of the arena and jump down to another part of the battlefield. You can knock them out of the arena and get a ring out, of course, but you can't sort of was it Tekken? Tekken does that pretty well I think you can knock your enemy out of the ring and jump down to another part of the battlefield that is pretty awesome so and let's just go to Orochimaru's hideout and here we go now if you're on the PC the loading times are pretty quick and these are steam hidden gem videos so I'm expecting you to be playing on the PC but the game is also available on the Xbox. That should be better. Right, so this guy blows bubbles, my enemy. Not really the most intimidating character you'll ever see in Naruto. But neither is Toby. I mean, look at the way my guy is moving. But you can see from the get go that's pretty fast paced. Toby's a comical character. He more or less just digs holes and plants bombs underneath you. A bit of a moron. Or so you're left to believe. Led to believe. So if I press the left and right bumper, let me just demonstrate, you can call in one of your companions or your allies to help. They'll do one attack and then they'll pull out. But they can also jump in to protect you and act as a shield. And if your enemy uses their ultimate jutsu, which is their big time attack, they can also take it for you. And you really don't want to be hit by one of those, so I'm going to try and use Toby's ultimate jutsu here. You see, the combos are really easy, it's just like, why will, if you use any of your abilities with chakra, amplifying it. 
So that's the Tobies. Oh, and they missed it. Okay. Who would have thought again the blues bubbles would have been so tough? Hmm? Right. Come on, Toby. Oh, no, he got me with his bubbles. Why does have any bubbles, man? What's up with the bubbles, dude? Right, so I'm trying to build my chakra here. Chakra. That being like the sort of energy in this game. I'm the enemy. Oh, wow, I am getting my ass handed to me. Well, not really. This guy's almost dead, but, you know, I want to finish him off with my ultimate jutsu. And we got him! <laughs> so, Toby is one of those characters that... To destroy his enemies, he'll pretty much destroy himself in the process and he, he won't be doing it purposefully but he's just an idiot so let's go back to the game mode select screen and see if i can so show you a bit of the actual story because the bottles in that are quite they're more fast paced load game now like i said this is the third in the series i think if you play each of the naruto games you can find them in pretty much any console i think 360 and the PS3 being the two major ones that these games were released on you pretty much get the gist of what's going on in the entire anime without the spoilers of course so okay so here we are I'm going to replay a fight now there is spoilers here so if you're not looking to see them or if you're just not overly interested in the anime or watching it then but trust me you'll be freaking amazed by the amount of awesomeness in this one freaking battle or fight now this is a single freaking fight in this game and all three of the games the ultimate ninja storm games are like this so it's naruto versus sasuke the hero and the avenger now there are quick time events in this game but they're more or less just cinematics with quick time events here and there and depending on how well you do judges the outcome of the fight Oh, so he's right into me here. He's right on top of me. So let's see if we can pick Sasuke down before he picks us down. Sasuke being one of uh, probably Naruto's best friends. But he's went rogue, so let's take him down. And again, there are spoilers here. So if you're looking to get into the anime, check it out. But if you're not and you just want to see an awesome fight, then stay glued to your screen. Come on, Sasuke. So here we go, first quick time event, and it looks absolutely amazing, so. Right, so here I can choose the easier route, or the, the well, more difficult route, so hero route will be the easier one. Legend being more difficult, so let's do this. You also get these little splash screens and a bit of dialogue for things that have previously happened. That happens more in the freaking anime than it does in the games, to be fair. But the, amount of, the amount of flashbacks in Naruto is ridiculous. That's one of the downsides, but overall, it's, it's not too bad. It's one of the better animes. And one of the longer running ones so here we've unlocked the secret action which is it just allows us to play something that's already happened previously obviously so quick time event here we go but that's not it wait till you see the real freaking uh, quick time event now, i'm not too much of a fan of quick time events but this game does them right. They make you feel like you have weight and impact on everything you do. Or oh, there's weight and impact behind everything you do. That would be a better way to say it. Whoa, he does that like a pro. So.
Sasuke got knocked right back into the manga there. Awesome. And there we go, because we got all the stars in the quick time event, it'll just unlocks a secret factor, which is a little extra tidbit on the story. And there we go. Yeah, I believe that was freaking awesome. And one thing I would like to mention is that the English dub is available. I had it on the Japanese dub, meaning that there were Japanese voice actors doing their thing and English subtitles. Now, I do really prefer the Japanese dub. I think the voice actors are vastly superior and they just sound like the real characters to me. I mean, the English ones just sound really cheesy and mm, not as good. So there we go. Now there is an online mode, but there are very few people and you'll be lucky to even get into a game. But the, there's a massive downside to this. Depending on how good the connection of the host is, you're going to, if they're, their connection's bad, say you're in the in Europe and they're in the States, you're going to lose. Because they've got a, their connection is so much better. And it really does affect the gameplay and how you're able to react to attacks that are coming towards you because of course there's going to be a delay so you might as well not even try but apart from that there's enough in this game I think I played this for 20 hours before I finished the main story and it is incredibly enjoyable it's very well very very worth the money to spend on it and of course there are the series of games there's Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, 2, 3 a revolution which is sort of like an arena tournament version of the game with a lot more characters and a sort of deeper RPG element to it and the fourth Ultimate Ninja Storm game is coming early 2015 so you can check that out but apart from that guys this has been Connor with another Steam Jam I mean this is the second video in the space of just over a year so I'm going to be hoping to keep these up and of course, like every other time before, and like every other time to come, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hereby declare war on you all, the fourth great ninja war.